So what can I say about my now wife? Believe me, writing this speech has not been easy. The brief was no rubbish jokes, no embarrassing stories and not soppy, but with something a little sweet. So here it goes. Katie, the impact you have had on my life has been nothing short of immense. We met almost nine years ago when you came to buy a watch from me. However, the quality wasn't there, so I fobbed you off and tried to send you to Scarborough. <laughs> How lucky am I that you didn't take my advice and came back a few weeks later having bought elsewhere to have it adjusted. It was at that moment when I noticed your piercing blue eyes, infectious smile and demanding personality. <laughs> I'm not wrong. Right. None of these things have wavered in the time we've been together. In fact, you've become more demanding, more stunning, more stunning every day we've spent together. Right up to now, we're the most beautiful bride I've ever laid eyes on. You really are beautiful. Fast forward a couple of years and along came our very own bundle of unrelenting energy in the form of Reuben. <laughs> Under our guidance, and particularly that of Katie, has become one of the nicest little boys you're ever likely to meet, and getting married is as much for him as it is for us. From the moment he came into this world, he has been the heartbeat of our family, and he has helped to shape Katie and I into the people we are today. Life is never boring with Katie. Sometimes, sometimes it's like living with an angry teenager. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it's like living with an intellectual. Hence, I laughed at that bit. Um, <laughs> And other times it's just like having a Yorkshire girl that wants to have a great time. And I wouldn't change it for the world. We've done much already, but there are so many exciting things to come for us as a couple and as a family, and I can't wait to go through it all with you. So if anybody, everybody could join me in raising a glass to my beautiful wife, the now Mrs. Hollier.